Hi kids, have you completed the task I've given you yesterday where when the ball hits the bottom of the screen, it will trigger a game over state? What? You have not? Or you're not sure how to do it? Not to worry, I'm here to help you guys, okay? Alright, first thing we're going to do is we have to create a long little bar right at the bottom of the screen that will trigger the game over state, okay? First thing we're going to do is going to create a new sprite, okay? Under this and use the paint option, okay? We're going to make a box, a very long and thin box, okay, as thin as you can, okay, alright, uh, put this right in the center using the marker here, align it to the center, okay, so once we have done, let's go back to the code, okay, so this is the, this is the, the game over bar, okay, uh, let's just uh, change the background back to the original color white first for you to see, you can select the original backdrop here. Okay. Okay, so now this is the new object that we've created. It's right at the bottom here, the long thin little bar. Oops, let me just click on it again. The long the, the, the long little bar. Okay. Put it right at the bottom of your screen. Okay. Over there. Can you see it? Okay. Good. Um next thing we do, let's give it a name. We're gonna call this bottom. Okay. Okay, and then now we're going to code it. We're going to start with uh, events. When start or green is clicked, we want to trigger a game over state when the ball touches the bottom sprite. Okay, so we will go to uh, forever. I mean control and grab a forever block. We will need sensing. We need to sense when we touch the ball. Okay, this is we're currently we're coding inside bottom. So when the bottom touches the ball, it will trigger a end state. Okay. Go to control, pick up an if statement. If the bottom is touching the ball, we need to trigger the game over state. Okay, we're gonna use this command called broadcast. Broadcast is actually under events. Alright. So under broadcast, we're gonna select this and then click new message under the new message we're going to call it game over g-a-m-e-o-v-e-r game over okay so what happens is this when the game over state has been triggered it will send a broadcast message a broadcast message is something that's sent from this bottom sprite to all other objects inside your scratch program okay so once um once the rest of the program has, have received this game over state, you can trigger whatever else you want to do. Okay, what I will do is we want to trigger the background to change to a game over background. Okay, so now let's click back to the stage, the background on the right bottom right. Select the backdrop here. Okay, so this is the, the regular background we are using. Now we will duplicate it. Okay, there's a third background here. And after we've duplicated, we're going to write on the screen um, some words. Okay, let's just click here. G-A-M-E. Enter. O-V-E-R. Okay, game over. Looks good. Let's um, let's make it a bit bigger. Can I make it bigger? Let's change color first. Change it to white. I think white is better. Okay, white is good. And then we're going to select this and make it much bigger. Much, 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 much bigger. Can we do that? Is that good? Okay. Okay. Let's uh, move it to the center of the screen. Here. Put it on the cross. Okay. So this is the game over state. We want to trigger the background to be uh, to be the game over stage as well as stop the ball moving. Okay. So we're going to do two things now. Let's go to the ball first. Okay. Click on code. Okay, the ball when we receive when when the ball receive game over or the game over message, we would uh stop the ball from moving. So we would have to use the let me see how do we stop? I think just put move, set it to zero. Hopefully it will work. Okay. And the second thing we need to do is we need to have a click on a stage. Okay. When we start the game, start is under here. When we start the game, we need to select the correct uh, backdrop.
backdrop. The backdrop that we need is called Neon Tunnel 1 when we start the game. Okay, and when we receive, when we receive the game over state, we need to change it to uh, Neon Tunnel 2. If you don't know the name of the backdrop, you can click here. The name is written down here, Neon Tunnel for the for the first one, the regular one, and the game over one is called Neon Tunnel 2, okay? Okay, so back to the code. Let's just give it a go. Okay, so now the ball is bouncing off the top. Okay, good. We're going to let it bounce off my pedal first. Okay, so the game is working fine. Tuk, tuk. Okay, good. Let's, uh, let's try to trigger the game over state. Okay, so the game over is working, but the ball is still moving. Okay, doesn't matter. Let's have a look at the code. Okay, so move zero step doesn't work. Let me just stop that. There's another way to end the game. We can go to um, events. Sorry, let me see. It's it events. Sorry, it's called uh, under control. Right at the bottom, that's called stop all. Just move this there and use a stop all instead. Okay, let's give it a go. End state. Okay, so everything has stopped. The game over screen has appeared. We know that the game has is game over. Okay. So this is a simple solution for the younger kids. Those that want to see the more complex solution, you can stay back and watch the next video. Thank you.